Hello YouTube, my name is Oso Guinea Pig. I just got food poisoning from eating at Chili's, but let's get this shit started. So today I'm bringing you guys two different hopper counter designs that I've come up with. Each of them is usable in different ways, and I'll show you why in a second. And I like them because they're not only they're compact, but also they're very flexible as far as what values that you need to plug in, that you need to count and stuff. So with that, let's get started with this first one right here. So this first counter is a basic counter. So I'm going to put in whatever thing I want to count to. So let's say five. So I'll put in five gold nuggets into this hopper right here. I'll now hit this button five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And on the fifth hit, I'll get a pulse and it'll reset. And I can hit it again. So one, two, three, four, five. And there's our pulse. So it completely resets. And this will count from anything from one to the entire uh, capacity of this hopper. So there's a lot of flexibility as far as how many uh, values you're counting to. So let's get on with the tutorial. We're going to start with our input block on a button right here. We're then going to have a repeater on one tick delay out of that block, leading into the block here. On the other side of that block, we're going to have redstone dust, and another block on the other side of that redstone dust. We're then going to have a torch here, followed by two pieces of redstone dust like so, a repeater on one tick delay, leading into a block here. We're now going to place our hoppers. So our hoppers are going to be facing into each other like this. And if you don't know how I just made them face into each other, I shift clicked. I held down shift and then right clicked my other face, which allowed me to not go into the hopper like this, but rather to place it facing that way. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to place a comparator out of this hopper here, leading into a block, a torch on the side of that block, and then a regular piston facing inward like this. We're going to have a block there, and then a redstone block here. The last step is we're going to get a comparator coming out of the other hopper here, leading into a piece of redstone dust, which will in turn power this block here. On the other side of this block, we'll have a torch, and we'll have a piston facing inwards towards this redstone block here. Now all we have to do is get ourselves something to put into it. So let's put in a few. I'll put in four. And we can get our input out of this torch here. I mean our output, sorry. So, like so. So let's try this out. One, two, three, four. And there's our pulse. So this second counter is a modification of the first one. And what this new one does is it counts uh, automatically as many times as the amount of nuggets you put in here. So I have six nuggets in here. So I'm going to hit the button. And this repeater is going to pull six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it resets. So I'll do it one more time to show it completely reset. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So to modify this design to make it compatible with this, we're going to take this torch output here and put our piston, our sticky piston, facing towards this block here. We're then going to place our repeater here. We're going to place a sticky piston like this, block on that sticky piston, redstone dust here, block there, and a torch on the other side of that. That'll give us our one tick pulse. Now, to make the clock, we're going to get a torch on the side of this block. We're going to get two repeaters, both on two ticks of delay. And this can be modified. You can make these longer if you want to make there be longer spaces in between the pulses. And then a piece of redstone dust here. And then, if we want to get the output of that, we can take it anywhere along this line. In this case, I'll do the same thing as I did earlier. And I will just take it right out like this. So, if we go ahead and press the button, oh, actually, wait, we need to get some uh, nuggets in there first. So let's go ahead and put in seven, I guess. Let's hit the button. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. And then it resets. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video if you liked it, favorite it if you really, really liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope these tutorials helped. I hope you guys get some good ideas from that. And that's about it. See ya.